Hey guys, Pitch Air episode two, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the groundworks we need to do at the yard. This video is actually for the team at Pitch who are gonna be delivering on this. But again, we're gonna broadcast this and hopefully it's gonna create some good conversation, bit of debate, maybe some other people have got some ideas they can chuck in the mix as well. So here is the, well, hang on, oh, lots of screens. Here is the yard, okay, that we're working with. The aircraft's going on top of the containers. First thing we've got to do is sort the containers out. Right now, they're pretty manky old metal things. We need to level them up. So two ideas on that. The first one is we can get a bottle jack and fabricate a small metal bracket that we can lift up each corner and get them level. They need to be stepped, like straight, step, straight, step, and so on, all the way down. The other option is we can get a crane in and we can lift them up, put in chocking underneath and drop them back down again. Either way, it needs to be as consistent and straight as possible because at the moment, frankly, it looks like a scrapyard. So leveling containers, uh, crane or bottle jack, and we need to chock it. For the chocking, I'm thinking we use paving slabs, and then if we need to make it a bit higher, we could probably use some wood on the corner posts. So that's the first thing. Next thing is the way the containers look. We need to spray them a light blue color. The idea is they're gonna look like clouds, and once they're blue as a base, we can then get our artist friend Jody Thomas to do the cloud work, or he might train our staff in how to do it. So we need to establish what is the best paint. Buy some samples, test it, let it get weathered and see if it peels off. Because I'm mindful that it might not be as simple as spraying on top of the metal. I'd love to hear people's inputs or thought on that. Do we need to shot blast? Do we prime it? Or is there a paint we can put straight on and it's going to really adhere strong to those shipping containers? Next thing is, this area around here is what we call the man cave container. That needs to be sorted out. So do we need to dig that up and put aggregate down and then tarmac? Or do we just pour a concrete slab? I'm not sure what we do, but what I do know for certain is that doesn't look good. The other option is we could just dig out and put loads of gravel, uh, membrane and some gravel down. Either way, it can't look like a scrapyard, that's key. For reference, vehicles won't be driving on that part there, so as long as it looks good, it's fine. It doesn't need to have any strength for trucks to drive over or anything like that. So that's the aesthetics and leveling the containers. Next thing is the services. This is the big one. So we need to get conduit there, which is for uh, wastewater, electrics, and data, and whatever else. So, guys, what I'm thinking is that we uh, run two options. One is we run conduit from unit 21, not conduit, like a, a drain pipe, like dig up and put a, a pipe in so we can run cables through from 21 along the back of all the warehouses around here, across there, past the virtual venue um, and VVX, and then across to the aircraft. So we can then have manhole covers all the way along and we can draw cables through. I'm thinking we use like a four inch or a six inch pipe so you can even run a 32 amp three phase through if you need to. Or we could run conduit directly across from 21 to the back of the yard and then run across the ground. I'm feeling like we should make the effort to dig up a trench and run a couple of conduit run, sorry, um, ducting, ducting runs from 21 all the way across to the aircraft. So in there, we need to run, I'd say a 32 amp single phase, so six mil or 10 mil cable across to the aircraft, also a water pipe, and we'll discuss the waste pipe separately uh, and data as well. And do we need to have two separate ducts for the data and the power? We obviously need to run some ethernet, but we could run fiber optic. It might be better to run fiber and put a fiber switch in. That means we might not have to have two separate sets of ducting. It'll be a lot faster and presumably a lot lower cost as well by running one, one ducting with fiber optic and power. So that is that. Um, the next bit I'm gonna talk about will be the structural side of the aircraft and how we're gonna prop this thing up on shipping containers. That will be in episode three of the Pitch Air Project.